Hi all, it's Maria Clark and welcome to my studio. I have a follow-on project to the pendant number four where we dipped all of those fantastic pendant blanks and did a little fluid art and uh, dipped, dipped our pendants and I really love the way some of these turned out. So I decided to go ahead and do a dip and dot. So we dipped them, now we're gonna dot them. I'll have several of these I think as um, as I kind of get to them. I really um, love the way they turned out and I wanna share with you how they might look if you actually did some dotting on them. So this is one that we did. Um, you can go back to the pendant number four video and take a look at this one. Um, I am going to put a little clip here as we come up on this though so that you can see it. But isn't this pretty the way this turned out? And the colors are simple. There's three colors. There's a pink, a green, and a black. And it created this lovely purple and blue. And I really think the dotting um, really accentuates and highlights some of the spiral swirls that we put in the paint uh, with one of our dotting tools. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. So here's a little uh, recap. I just took a, a cut from the pendant number four video to show you what we did in case you didn't um, weren't able to see that. And I'm using these uh, fluid paints. They're pre-mixed paints in these bottles. I got these at Joanne, I think. I'll, um, if I can find a link to them, I will put them in the show more down below under the description. Um, otherwise, um, I think you can find these like at, in the US at Hobby Lobby and at Joanne Fabric. So putting down some of that green, some of the pink, and then just a few little drops of black. I don't want the black to overwhelm the other color, so I'm just putting a little bit there. And what I liked about this and what I was hoping that you would see is just a, a fun way to experiment if you haven't tried this fluid art before. Uh, these are really small, they're easy, they're accessible, and you get a really great pendant. So I dipped it in and swirled it around, as you can see, to move that paint around. Isn't that pretty, just as it is? But I'm going to take my tool and I want to show you how uh, we can kind of change this up by dragging the paint, just putting the tool in and dragging the paint up, creating a pattern. In this case, a little bit of a swirl. Hard, a little hard to see it right at this moment, but I'll keep working on this and put a few more swirls. And what it does is just drags, you know, some of the color of the paint through each other and creates a really nice pattern. Add another swirl there. And then just a little something at the top. And you can see what that's looking like. Uh, you can't really see it quite as much now because the paint is still wet, but I put the swirls in it. You can see it dragged a little bit of that color up into some of, uh, some of the other colors. And again, we've got some really nice purples and blues from the way this paint mixed in our little swirl. Just open up the hole there because that once that paint dries, you know, I just have to break through it. So it's easier just to... Uh, get rid of some of that paint now. And this is what it looks when it's dry. Now this has been drying for several days. I don't think you need to dry it that long. I just um, am getting back around to it. So it's been sitting since we filmed on uh, or released the video on Monday. Um, and so isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that pink and green black just popped together. So now I'm going to go ahead and start dotting this. Um, you'll see that I'm using a little different tool here. I'm actually using a double-ended knitting needle. And the reason I'm using that is, I have these, of course, from my uh, polymer clay sculpting, but um, they don't actually knit, <laughs> but these are great little tools. And uh, they make really fine points. And sometimes I, when I like to walk the dots, I like them to get really fine. And with some of my other dotting tools, I don't get quite that fine a dot, so I like to use these. So um, I've used that as the knitting needle as far as I can, and now I've gone to one of my larger nail dotting tools. And I'm gradually increasing the size of those dots, sometimes just by dropping some additional paint on there, sometimes by changing the size of the tool. 
Um, I love the way that's just a slow graduated size. Following the line of the curve. Now I'll go in with some green and see how fine I can get those uh, walking the dots with that knitting needle. And those come in different sizes too. I'm not a knitter myself, but um, they come in different gauges. So you can get even finer if you like to. So I'm gonna pull some of that green around. Isn't that pretty the way it pops on the pink and next to the black? Kinda has a pop art feel to me. I hope you're enjoying this series, this pendant series. Um, I, of course, uh, love to make jewelry and really these pendants I just think are so sweet and I love them. So I, I think they'd be great, again, as some gifts or, or craft fair items or something like that. And when they're varnished, um, that paint really pops. So I brought that green around and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the pink. And we'll just kind of follow it around. I'm not being necessarily exact with following the lines that are in the paint, um, but I'm sticking pretty close. And then just pulling that paint around. Let me know what you think about the dip and dot. That's what, that's what I've decided to call these. Um, I think that um, uh, there's lots of possibilities here, so I'm looking forward to trying some of the other ones that uh, we dipped in video number four of the series. So just now adding some more black and pulling it around. Again, this is I'm just kind of doing this freehand, trying to follow the uh, follow the pattern of the paint and then adding contrasting color. So here I am doing the green on top of that black. A little more with the green. I'm just gonna start to sort of feather this out a little bit. Add some more sort of branches here, I guess. Maybe a good way to describe it. And you can see I'm not necessarily following a line in the paint. Go in with a little bit of black. You know, this is the thing about um, this style of painting. You can just add as much or as little as you like to get a look that you, you know, stop when you think, <laughs> stop when you think it's done. I'm gonna add a little more green. And a little more pink. A little more green. And the piece is finished. I uh, don't want to overdo it, but I think that looks like it might be enough dotting on this particular piece. I love the way this one turned out, you guys. I think that is so pretty with the colors. And here's the finished piece. Hey, I really hope you're enjoying the series. I'm going to keep going. I've got several more planned. I want to do some more jewelry making techniques. Uh, if you have something specific that you might want to see, let me know. Um, and uh, I'll try to work something like that in if I can. Um, and so we can have a nice sort of variety of pendants styles to choose from. So I, I think um, this one turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is just a quick little video, our dip and dot uh, pendant number five. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me in my studio. Take care.